Hello guys, it's the Multigamer4 here, back again with some more Pokemon Sun and Moon news, where apparently six new Pokemon were leaked, um, two of them being the Coral Coral leaks we got a few days ago, so let's just hop right in. Um, this is my second take of it, so I've already seen some of it, <laughs> but this gives me a chance to see a little bit more. So I saw this Wimpod, who looks really cool, he's... I like it, it's like a little shellfish thing. He's got Wimp out, which makes it where if you hit it, he flees. That's obviously Struggle Bug. Or maybe, no, that wasn't Struggle Bug. It lowered special attack. I don't know what the move that was. But yeah, Wimp out lets it like sl switch out, which is really cool. Then we got Bond Sweet, who, always, who I thought looked like a cherry. It looks like a Cheruby Pokemon or something. Or like a little radish or something. I'm not exactly sure. It looks really cool though. And this I didn't even see. But, I'm sorry. But it looks like the Fall Bay Bay Pokemon of this game, because it's like pure fairy type and flowers related. Triage. I didn't even notice that ability. But it looks like a little one of them flower necklaces you get on Hawaii, which is cool. Mudsdale, who I saw and was really interested in, um, is just ground type. And he has a really cool ability, which where if he gets hit, his defense races. And this is about as far as I got. I have to mimic you, which is next. But it's really cool. I really like this Pokemon too. Now it looks like a new move. Either that or it's like Stomp or something. No, it wasn't because it's was super effective. Never mind. Then we got Mimic You. And I love Mimic You. It's so. It's cute. I like it. But it's like kind of demonish. Like scary Q. So is it going to show off the skies? Oh, it does. Oh, that's cool! Be <laughs> Beware. That's a cool name. I love Mimikyu's ability. Beware. <laughs> a lot of people don't seem to like that Pokemon, but I love it. Host your own competition using the Pokemon Global Link. Okay. I like I like Beware. <laughs> That's an awesome name. Hyper Training. Wait, is that Ivy's? Ivy Training? Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What? Light screen. I didn't know Pikachu got that. Okay. But, on to more important matters. Is this the EV training or is this the IV training? That's EV training. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I think. Yeah, at first it does IV training because I think I heard something about that. I could be wrong now. Huh. Huh. I'm not exactly sure what that is. It's EV training or IV training for sure. But I heard something about there's going to be IV training in this game. Also, if you guys are like, oh, why are you skipping so much news and just, uh, giving out this news. If you did not see my update video, uh, my last video got copyright strike because I left the music in, but this time I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to replace it with the own music I normally use. By the way, I got a new playlist on the channel now, which is mu just music I use. So if you ever got, if you guys ever want to check out any music that I do actually use, I will put a the video that I got it from in the playlist, and that way you guys can check out what we got. So let's see what Cerebi has to say about this. My favorite out of these six I'm not going to count Beware and Mimikchu, but the four like actual new ones we got there, I like the best. Probably the first one, um, whose name was... Does it give their names up here? I can't remember its name, because I just like, literally heard it. Wimp, Wimp, Wimp Pod. Um, get out of here. Get out of here. No? There we go. Alright. Sorry about that. My thing does that whenever I record. Wimp Pod. I love the names of these. Because, like, <laughs> Wimp. Because if you hit it, it goes away. Beware. Oh my gosh. That's the best name for a Pokemon ever. <laughs> a lot of people don't like this. The bear one. I think he's kind of cool. Everyone, I see, I see some bad opinions about it. Oh, it just looks too goofy and stuff. But I like that it <laughs> just hugs. And, like, it can, like, crush you with a hug. That's how that's how it looks like because it kind of got inflated inflated tube arms and it crushes you. But I love I love it. Apparently it's based off the red panda from Hawaii, which is really cool. 
And then they got like the flower necklace Pokemon that uh, looks really cool, just like a little flower necklace, you know, like Kula dancers wear. And like just Taurus and, you know, the stereotypical version of Hawaiians, I guess. I don't know if like, oh, every Hawaiian wears it now. Just a little thing that happens, cultural thing. Um, I really like Mimikyu, and that ability is cool, where it gets like pretty much one free hit, and then the skies fails, and then like the little head just like does that. I think that's really cool. So yeah, it's cool to see some of these are based off of one. I'm pretty sure um, the ground type, which is Mud Mudsdale. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. Mudsdale. I'm pretty sure it might be Mudsdale. I'm not sure, but that one is really cool. I don't know if it's based off anything or if um, the grass bond sweep if sh it was based off anything. But yeah, these are some really cool Pokemon. Um, is there anything else in here? So it has been confirmed about the news and give all the Pokemon. Whoa, it's Japanese names and it's been discussed. Wait, man. It's Billy Fluffy has the damage taken from attacks that make direct contact, but in return also doubles the damage taken from fire type move. Whoa! That's a cool, but they got some really cool abilities going on in this new gen. I really like it. Leave me alone. Its ability Fluffy has the damage, so any like physical like contact moves that it takes halves it, but a fire type move will do double damage. So fire type is basically like super effective against this thing if it has that ability. That's really cool. A new mode called Hyper Train is announced with Hyper Train the Pokemon that have grown to level 100 but will increase their individual strengths. Okay, so it was IV training. I heard something about that, but I wasn't sure. Okay, so it is the IV training, which has never been which has never been possible before. Sorry, I, I wasn't sure my thing was recording anymore. So now, okay, it utilizes ball caps as an item in order to boost the stats. My gear now will be given one when distributed. And description also. Then it's just edit. Okay, so that's really cool. So it was IV training. So basically, when your problem gets to level 100. You can. I think it's kind of weird how you have to wait till it gets to level 100 for you. Ah, no, 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 no. That that helps with it a lot. So Ivy Train that would really like change the way breeding goes on because once you get that Pokemon to level 100, like if you can make your in-game team strong. That's all I'm like hearing from this because they got Super Training returning, and if you get that like early on in the beginning, you can pretty much like your in-game team can be useful later. Leave me alone. Basically, so like, I'm gonna use Aura as an example. Like, I'm, you have my Trico. I can easily super train it to the EV stats that I want. So let's just say max speed, max special attack. Um, just basic Sceptile But um, let's say I do that, and then like by the end of the game, my Sceptile is like level 80 or 90 or so. I can just easily grind that up, like just to get free money or stuff for other uses. I can easily just grind that Sceptile up to 100, change its EVs to where if you can get perfect EVs on IVs, blah, 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 blah. If you can get um, perfect IVs on here, like six IVs on there, then I can basically, or at least five, I could easily make this uh, competitive. So, what you can do on this is probably just one of the other issues where, oh, people are hacking Pokemon. Don't do that. Um, probably just a the thing they're bringing in. To help reduce that, it's along with the shiny rates they changed in Gen 6. Yeah, this is some really cool news. I really like the new Pokemon. Uh, the question of the day will be the usual like, what do you think of these new Pokemon? Basically, when I do an update video on these, um, question of the day will pretty much be similar or the same. But, question of the day, what do you guys think about these new Pokemon and which one is your favorite out of these six? Um, like I said before, without can beware and mimic chew, I would choose uh Wimp Pod. <laughs> Wimp. I like all the nicknames additions. But if I had to choose between all the six, Mimic Chew and then I think Beware's a close second, just because I like the name. <laughs> like before with the weird name, it was just like, eh, okay, it's a cool Pokemon. But just the fact they name it Pew 
beware is just amazing. Oh my gosh. Anyway, if not beware, then went pod, and then like here, I'll kind of just do this one, two or three, the other two or three, four, five, six, but they're all really cool. Anyway, guys, uh, take it easy, multi order guys, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. I got some other three up. Um, I had some other three edited, so there should be some episodes that later if you guys want to see it. Anyway, guys, see you later in the next episode. Bye.